sorry guys i'm trying to do it there we go right hey guys um i had to go to town today just to get um my glasses sorted out um and i just went to poundland and home bargains while i was out so i'm just going to share with you what i got so we'll do just whatever i'll tell you where it's from Right, obviously I took one shopping bag with me but I needed an extra one so I just bought this one in Home Bargains and it was 99p or a pound, it was 99p or a pound. Um, I did go to my local pet store because I needed some hay for the guinea pig so this was 3 99 and it's just... Um, Compressed hair for the guinea pig because he likes to eat it. So, just sit that on there now. Um, so, back to home bargains. I've got an Asda shop coming shortly. Um, so, there'll be another video on that later on. I'll add it on. In fact, what I'll probably do is just add it on to end of this part and then it's just one video rather than two. So, I've got the guinea pig, two bags of kale. There's one there because I forgot to buy it in with the shopping. I got him the celery and that, but I forgot the kale. And they were six, 69p, I want to say. 69 pence each. Now, I needed some more hand soap for the kitchen, so I got this Imperial Leather 500ml Funky Fruits and Safari Sunsets Limited Edition Tropical Fruit Fusion of passion fruit and mango and it smells really good now the smaller ones of these like the, 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 the regular size ones were 99p this one was also 99p so for the 250 normal size ones it was the same price as getting a bigger one but I got this one and it smells amazing oh, it smells so good it smells good so we got that and then, as I was walking past the fridge, I found this. Now, I thought this was a good buy. Fat-free natural yoghurt. It's in date till the 14th of December, which is good. And it's one kilogram. It's in a little bucket with a handle of natural fat-free yoghurt. And this was only 99 pence. So, I, I like natural yoghurt. I'll put it on cereals. I don't, I'm not really eating a lot at the moment. Because I'm still, you know, a bit down and things. And I'm not in the mood for eating and stuff. And I'm struggling to sleep as well. But I'm not really eating a lot. So I'm not eating cereal as well. But I got this. And then I thought, I'm going to get some bananas. Because natural yoghurt and bananas is really good. And these were 99p for six bananas. So I just picked them up. Um, these are on offer at the minute. Normally these are like a pound or one pound twenty nine or something. The sixty nine pence at the moment in home bargains. So I just got one of each of these. One's Monster Energy Lewis Hamilton, and one's Rossi. So just picked up two of them. Now this was home bargains as well. This was only ninety nine p. Now I thought it was one where you paint on it, but you actually. Use pen and colour it in. It's a colour in canvas. They had two designs. They had this one and an owl one, but I wasn't keen on the owl. So I thought I could sit and maybe colour this in tonight. Cause I... We're just not sleeping and stuff. I'm not going to bed till like really, really late, like three, four, maybe even five in the morning. Then not getting to sleep till about six ish. And then I'm still getting up early, so I'm just finding. I'm struggling a bit at the minute, so I thought if I get bored, I can colour this, but it's really pretty, and that was only 99p. Um, these are the cat tuna that I usually buy for the cats. They haven't had a treat in a while, and I thought with what's happened, we'll get them a little treat. This is £1.49, and it's sardine, simply tuna in jelly, and it's specifically made for cats so i got the cats that and then the rest of the stuff guys is pound land so mark wanted to cheer me up a little bit with him not being able to be here at the moment i met him in town we stayed a safe distance we wore masks um because he couldn't even come with me to take glamour to the vet um he offered to come in the car with me 
but I said no because I was upset enough and the fact of what upsets me is if someone else is crying about the same thing then it upsets me more if that makes any sense to people and I was upset enough as it was I didn't want to be more upset with Mark being there being upset so I asked him I said no it's fine I'll get Alan to take me so Alan took me and obviously we did everything but Mark bought me these to cheer them up now I have opened them Sorry, that's my gas and electricity card, I put that on there. Um, what I did, I have opened them and there is a lot gone. I half the box with Amy because she's feeling a bit down at the minute, just with, with lockdown and not being able to see anyone. So I went to Amy's because I bought her some power set more from Poundland, so I went to drop it off. And I went, so I did share these with Amy. So Mark, if you're watching, I haven't eaten them, I shared them with Amy. We literally put them on the sofa and we took one each at a time, so we shared them equally. Just because I'm a nice person. Um, I bought myself... I bought, I bought some proper cheese. Like, a block of cheese. But I got this because I thought this would be nice to have, like, on toast and things. It's just a seriously spreadable... Um, basically, it's just spreadable cheese. And it's um, seriously spreadable. And it was only a pound in pound land. Now, I did pick up two packs of cooking bacon... Um, there is another one in here. I'm going to keep one out and freeze one because I like to make things like pasta bakes and stuff and this type of bacon is perfect for putting in it. Plus, it's a lot cheaper than regular bacon. I just cut all this fat off and there's not a lot of fat on it to be honest. But um, I like to put this in pasta bakes. If I want a bacon sani, I'll cut the fat off and just eat, just have that in a bacon sandwich. But I've got two of those at a pound as well. The 600 grams of bacon for a pound. You can't say no. Um, I've got myself a little treat. This is before I found out Mark had bought me the chocolate. I bought myself some Haribo charmellos. Basically, marshmallows. Again, just a pound. And then there's three items left, guys. Now, you know I like to collect the rubber ducks from Poundland. And um, obviously they've got the Christmas range out. So I bought the Christmas ducks. I don't know how many's in the set, but I've got three. So, first one is... It's a reindeer. He's brown and he's got little antlers. So we've got the reindeer. For the collection. I'll have to show you the collection one day. Then we've got the Santa. Now he does have a little mark here where he's a, a bit of the white missing. But I'm just going to get, get it's ex, um, like a bit extra paint over. Like, it's like spilled over but I can just put a bit of white paint or something over it. But he's even got a Santa hat on. And then the last one is... I'm trying to... Let me just pull that off. It's an angel and it's actually... it's. Wings are like angel wings. I just saw it and I thought it was so cute. So I got that as well. And that is literally, guys, all I got. I'm going to take you upstairs quickly. Very, very quickly, guys. I'm going to run you upstairs and I'm going to show you the ducks that I've got upstairs quickly because I need to take these up anyway. So i still got Glamour's cat box down there with a blanket in. I haven't got the heart to, um... I haven't got the heart to take the blanket out of anything right now, so it's still just... It's still just sitting there. I'm just opening the bathroom door. Right. It's a bit messy in here, but I've got all these ducks here. They're Poundland ducks. And then... You can't really see, but I've got the ducks there on the bath. And then I do have a couple of the ducks sitting. Hang on. I'm just sitting here there for a minute, guys, just so I can put these ones down. I've got two on the toilet. I've got those three. I've got four on there. And then we've got these ones, these are all like the Halloween-y ones. I'm going to move that blue one and put the devil one that's on the toilet up there and they're like the Halloween-y ones. But it's not much, but that's what I've got. So, 
Oh, and when I did my minion room too, I forgot to show you this, guys. Libby made me it, Charmaine's daughter. How freaking cute is that? But yeah, so I'm going to go, guys, and put my shopping away. And I'll be back with you when my shopping comes. And if you wonder what that is, when I was getting the kale off the shelf in town, the shelf attacked me. So I'm going to go, guys, and I'll see you soon. Right. Hi guys, my Asda shopping has just been, so I'm just going to bash on with what i got. i got what's on here, and there's also some stuff over there, so we're just going to bash on with it. So, don't mind that I spilt my tea when I was making a brew earlier, I forgot to wipe it. So I picked up some garlic granules, just because I'd ran out and I needed some more, so picked some up. Now this... I actually got this in home bargains today, it was only a pound and I totally forgot that it was in my backpack so that is actually from home bargains earlier today. Um, I picked up two diluting juices, one is orange and the other one is summer fruits. Now they're quite good value, 1.5 litres and they're only uh, they were a pound each so I thought that was amazing value. Um, got myself some biscuits. So we just got a pack of custard creams. I know they're high in fat, but who cares? Got a pack of bourbon biscuits. They're my favourite. And then I spotted these were on offer, so I got these to try. I don't think I've had them before, so butter biscuits. So we got those. Um, I've still got mince in the freezer, so what I'm going to do one day is make a spag ball. I even sometimes just like to cook one of these in the oven and have it on its own. So, got some garlic bread. Got some sunflower spread butter. We got some eggs. Um, got some minced beef and onion pies. Got a block of mature. I got some wraps. Weight Watchers wraps. I plan on making wraps one day so that's why I picked those up with chicken and peppers and stuff in um, I got these bird's eye cheese and ham chicken Kievs now I like the garlic ones I don't think I've ever had no I have had chicken and ham before it's been a while but I got those now this next item I actually put in my basket it was Young's Gastro lemon and pepper chicken However, they didn't have it, and they've substituted it for something called tem tempura battered. Now, never heard of it before. I have no idea what tempura is, even if I'm saying it right. Um, but I'm going to give it a go. But like I say, it wasn't what I asked for or got in my basket. Um, what I put in my basket was lemon and pepper, but we'll give them a go, you know, you never know. So that that was the only substitute item in my shopping list. Um, next, I got two bags of sausage. Now, I go through a lot of sausage. I like to have one bag in the freezer as an emergency. So if I'm running low, I know I've got that and I've got potatoes or mash and, you know... Um, and you get 20 in here for a pound, so I've got 40 sausages. Last thing over here, these were on a meal deal. Now, these were £3.77 for the two. And they are just... Weekends always start with a pizza, blah, blah, blah. And they are stuffed crust. So that one's barbecue chicken and bacon. And then we've got a meat feast. And they're both stuffed crust, and they were £3.77 for the two, like a meal deal, so we got them. That's just what I bought, that's what I bought the shopping in, and yes, I'm in my onesie. So, picked up a variety bag of crisps, just when I'm in the mood for something savoury. Two loaves of bread. I personally don't go through a lot of bread, but I'm going to put one in the freezer... Um, and then I've got one out because I like to have bread like bacon sandwich, fried egg on toast, scrambled egg on toast, that kind of thing. 
So I'm going to freeze one and I'm going to put one in the, fr in the fridge. So I got two celeries for the guinea pig. I don't like it, he does. You can't really see them because they're under the peppers, but I got some spring onion to go in my wraps. Got a pack of mixed peppers. Obviously, I'm going to add them into like the pasta bakes and things. Mushrooms, I'll add that into the pasta bakes that I do or the spag bowl that I make. We've got an iceberg lettuce, just bog standard lettuce. Now, I bought these today thinking I hadn't put any in my shopping basket and I had. So now I've got four packets of unwashed curly kale. But I'm hoping if I stick one in the freezer, it should be okay. Let me know in the comments if you can freeze kale or not. Because if you can, I can put those in the freezer and it'll be good. So just let me know, guys, because I don't know shit. It's simple. Right, I've got a lot of sauces because I do, like I say, pasta bakes and things like that. So this one is going to be for the spag ball and it's tomato and garlic pasta sauce. It says perfect with ravioli, but I'm going to put it in a spag bowl. <laughs> Massive jar of beetroot, because I can just sit and eat that with a fork out the jar. I love beetroot. I got myself some reduced sugar strawberry jam for putting on toast or making jam sandwiches. Um, this one is going to be for the tuna pasta bake, and it's creamy tomato. Ideal for tuna pasta. Because I've got the frozen sweet corn that I got last time. I'm going to add that in and mushrooms and peppers and... Yep. Yeah. Now, I know this says white lasagna sauce. However, this is extremely nice in pasta bakes. It's really, really good in a tuna pasta bake. So I did pick up two of them. But I'm going to use them for pasta bakes. Picked up four pot noodles. There was four for three pound. Now, with me not eating a lot at the moment, pot noodles are brilliant because I can just have one of them and I'm full, I'm done, end of. I got four tins of tuna. Now, I like just having tuna mayo sandwiches. Like I say, I'd put two of those in a pasta bake. Um, so I picked up four. I think they were like 60 pence each or something. Um, these were three for a pound and I just got all three the same. They are... Penny pasta, I want to say. I don't know how how you'd pronounce that. Sorry, I've got an itch. Um, but I've got three of those for a pound. Just a four pint of milk. Bog standard. And then the last item is an Angel Delight Dessert Kit Unicorn Edition. Now, this was on the website for a pound as I was checking out. I thought, you know, some, I haven't got really any treats apart from the biscuits. So all you do is add milk and it it's supposed to make this. But we're going to give it a go. Yeah, water level, one with milk, whisk layer two with milk, whisk topping, blah, blah, blah. So we got that to try. And that, guys, is my shopping. I am now, hang on, I will be right back. So, guys, that was my shopping for the day. I'm now going to actually turn the heating off because I am sweating. So give me a second. Um, I'm going to go and put... I'll be back. Sorry guys, I'm back. Um, just had a phone call. I'm just, put, I'm just literally in the freezer right now, just trying to put my... make space for my shopping <laughs> that I'm hoping will all fit this is why i only got a little bit of freezer stuff because i didn't really need a lot the only other thing that's to go in here is a loaf of bread and the pizzas but yeah so that's gonna be it for today i don't know when my next video will be i do know that i'm expecting a parcel from Diane she said she was posting today um, and I should have it next week so that might be when I do my next video um, 
I'm just with everything that's gone on I've just kind of lost my mojo a bit there we go freezer's full <laughs> freezer full I just kind of lost my mojo a bit and just can't be bothered so I'm gonna go and get this uploaded and I'm gonna to go to bed and just chill out in bed because I know for a fact I ain't gonna be sleeping so I'll let you go for now guys and I will chat to you in the next one so Bye!